Was it the power play going again? Yeah, yeah, they, it was. They made both uh, really good plays. I mean, they uh, uh, that uh, Sergey really made some good plays. Uh, first one, obviously, uh, a redirect to Andre and Andre they made a really good poise move right at the net, and put it in. And then the second one, they uh, Sergey again. Uh, we waited for you know we threw it down low and we waited for their D to turn his head uh, one second and then. As soon as he turned his head, Andre jumped back door and Sergey fed him with a really great pass. So, uh, yeah, tonight uh, special teams were huge. Uh, they were huge, and you know, for us offensively, and two, two for four, and then four for four in the penalty kill. We had a real big kill, uh, you know, a little five on three there, and then there was those back-to-back -back, uh, penalties. So, uh, real, real huge there. Apex made a couple big saves at that point. Uh, I thought he was really, really good. It, it seems like maybe they're playing with with a good bit of joy right now, just being reunited and back together. Is that something that that you're noticing, and just kind of the connection they have on the ice in general? Yeah, I think you know, obviously there's the, the brother connection, and they they've uh, grew they grew up together. They've got a, a sense, and um, you know, they, they, I think Sergey is really helping Andre transition here. Uh, Andre is has played a different system in Montreal than we do here. Uh, he plays a uh, a real poised, polished game, and um, you know, he's learning. You know, he's learning some of the things that we do. And I just think that you know, Sergey's. They're both working really hard, which is a. Uh, you know, Sergey went through a phase when he first got here that he you know, wasn't staying on the puck long enough, and now I think he's he's doing that. And Andre sees that, and Andre's doing that, and he's making some really good plays. And you know, you know we're getting production from 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 that line. So I thought Leggy was. Was good on really good offensively. He's a you know, poised player. Really, he's a smart player who can play with high skill guys. And, um, so that, that's been that's been pretty good for us. Um, my, my, today, my biggest disappointment, I think, was, was how we didn't manage the momentum. You know, we have the uh, you know we, we score you know the next shift right after that, and we have a big kill in the third. And that next shift is when you get the crowd going and the into that momentum and we they score right away. So that's we gotta manage that. And we gotta hit the net a little bit in the third period. I mean we missed the net, I think you know, Hallie had a had a breakaway and uh, Andre Andre had three luck three lucks and he was going top shelf on McDonald uh, a couple times, you know, you know, you gotta hit the make and make a save or we're trying to be a little too fine and get no shots out of that. But you know shot total was uh, a little too high on, on our side. We gotta get that down. Um, I think they had like the last 12 shots. Once we got to three, and we just sort of sat back a little bit more. I think that's a couple games in a row you've given up a goal, from, you know, next shift after. Yeah. What, yeah, I mean, yeah. what kind of things can you do to eliminate but that? Other than think? talking about it, yeah. not a whole lot. It's not like you can practice that unless I can get 18,000 fans in here or whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just you got to just bear down, bear down, make sure you're detailed, and make sure your battle skills are real high. And, their, their side, you know, after you score, get scored on, you, you know, that next shift is huge. So, you know, they, you know they're going to try to respond real quick, and they did. But I mean, we lost, we lost, started with the lost battle down low. You know, on, on, really, on the, the low battles we lost to. The 18 shots a lot in the third period. I mean, I, I know that they're, they were shorthanded and whatnot, but it's very Detroit-like overall. Yeah. Detroit throws a lot of pucks to the net. They keep things alive. They're, they're, I mean, that's what that's you know we got to clean that up. We got to be better than that. And, uh, that was too many. Uh, put that game at risk. So now uh, we just have to be better. Do you like what you see on Colin Wilson tonight? Get back in there. He's much better. Yeah. I, I, the biggest thing is that he's moving his feet and working. I mean, he's, he's a talent. And Colin's been he's had a decent year, but. You know, as we're getting to the playoffs, Matt, uh, everything's ramped up, and, and there's, there's no room for for mistakes. There's no room for for any passengers. So we, we just got to make sure we're, we're going up. But Willie's been a, a guy that's going to get better and better. And uh, I thought uh, early in, in the game, he drew in the second period, drew a penalty. He created a chance, uh, stole a puck, created a, a, a power play, and I think we actually scored on that. So, you know, he did a lot of good things when he was standing on the puck hard and doing those things. Uh, I didn't like what we, the one thing I didn't like is we were throwing a lot of pucks to the, you know, from behind and that to the middle and, you know, sort of those hold plays. And those are transitional pucks. So we got to, 
what we need to do in, in a lot of ways, we, we, we were good. We had a lot of two-on-ones today, and, and we executed on some. Um, but we've got to sustain a little bit more of a cycle game. We're just sort of a, right now, we're, we've got to sustain, sustain a little bit more, staying on the puck. You know, some of those shifts that we had against uh, Colorado, when you're staying persistent on the puck uh, a little bit more um, and longer, that'll create more offense for us, but, but more importantly, it'll create better defense for us. And we've got to get a little more of that, that low grind, manage the puck to beat the, the hash marks a little bit better than we did tonight. You've got a lot of road games coming up. Normally this month, it's it's a lot of home games kind of in the past. Just how, how do you sort of kind of handle all these games coming up? Because the, the home games are kind of in between a lot of road games too. It's almost like you're playing all road games from your own out. Yeah, it, it really is. I mean, we've got, we've, we've, I know what you're saying. We've got three or four, you know, we get home, play one, we're leaving the next day. Um, and we've got a lot of that. It, it's actually probably good for us. We've got some, some new guys that will probably be, um, I'm hoping it will, it will give us a chance to be um, uh, together a little bit. Give us a chance to maybe go into hostile buildings and, and, and have to play a certain way. Um, sometimes uh, at home you, you get away from your game a little bit because you you, you want to please everybody. You want to be uh, aesthetically appealing, which doesn't necessarily win your hockey game. So um, sometimes you just gotta grind it out and, and sort of. Uh, with, with using your skill properly, be a little bit more of the meat and potatoes rather than uh, the fancy stuff sometimes. I know you don't want to break up uh, your top line there, but uh, you played the two coast decent on the power play, I guess, kind of natural. Yeah, yeah, just uh, really putting them together. Like, Sergey hasn't been on power play a whole lot this year. I mean, last year he was on you know, probably all this, the last 40 games, he was a pretty permanent fixture. This year he's been more of a, a penalty kill. Now he's getting a little bit of power play, um, and he really hasn't been on it. Uh, and he's still got good numbers. And uh, I like the way uh, Sergey's playing. And uh, by putting them together, I thought it would be a, an easier transition for Andre, um, so they can talk things through a little bit. They have a sense, and, and Leggy's been a you know a real good veteran in the middle there. Does Sergey shoot as much as Andre does? Is what? Is Sergey able to shoot more than shoot as much as Andre does? I want them both to shoot. Uh, you know, uh, Sergey when he shoots, I mean, he, he's high score the goal every day. He, he moves that puck. Um, yeah, I want him to shoot. I want him to do. You know, when the opportunities there, shoot the puck. Uh, Andre has an absolute cannon of a shot. It's a heavy wrist shot, um, and he's got. Uh, so I want him shooting. And you know, right now with uh, with him and uh, him and Lakey and Horny. Uh, Hornquist playing together, you know Hornquist is going to be in the net, so get pucks there and, and create those second secondary chances. Um, but we we can we can do a little better job on the, on the cycle grind game because uh, that's how the game's going to be played. We can't you're not going to get those rush chances. You're not going to get the the odd man chances uh, that we you saw a little bit tonight on both ends. I mean we had we had we had a lot of two on ones. To, I thought the first half of the game. Against Detroit, and we got a couple of breakaways and, and stuff like that. But uh, you know, if we capitalize on it, it's probably a little different. But we got to create a little bit more in our grinding game down in the offense as well. Hal Gill looked like a real difference maker on the PK tonight. Hal Gill is, did exactly what we, we went out and David went out and got Hal as a, as a you know, big body, penalty killer, defends well uh, type of a veteran player. Yeah, it was, it was huge today. And then I thought Paul Gostad, uh, another pickup, uh, I thought he struggled a little bit in the, in the face-off circle early, but he was dynamite down the end. He was winning all draws and giving us a chance to get pucks out and all that. So, um, you know, it showed the value that the, the, the goose has for us. With all the forwards you have healthy, uh, is this kind of like a – Almost like a training, a mini training camp to see when your yeah. line's going to be in the playoffs? Well, yeah, I mean, things are going to happen. You're going to get injuries. You're going to have people out. And, yeah, it is a little bit of a, you know, there is some, you know, today I, I, I switched lines a little bit, put Wilson back in and, and put Spall in there and put Howstruck rather than Tutu there. Um, 
you know, and that toots uh, Willie and his balls have been aligned together and, and they've been really good at times and really bad at times this year. So, uh, but Halastruck is a, 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 you know, he's got good wheels, he's a, he's a detailed player, um, just to balance that out. And, and you know, today, I, you know, I got sort of all the hard guys, you know, in terms of Borky, he's hard on the puck, Toots can be real hard on the puck, and, and Goose is that big body. and. Put them together and, and just taking a look to see, trying to win hockey games as well as trying to see what might be uh, uh, something that we'll be using. So, and trying to keep everybody involved, which is a big task. But and one of the things that we're going to talk about, and, and, and the players have to realize, because you know we've got a lot of players, and the biggest thing is there is, you know, how does it affect me? And uh, every player, you know, gets scratched or is not playing as the same role or different minutes. Um, that could really upset them, but I'm, if you ask every player, what's the one thing you want to do in hockey that you haven't done yet? There's only, I think Hal's the only guy who's going to stay on the cup. And if, if you want to go far and you want to go deep in the playoffs, it doesn't matter what your role is. It's just about whatever role you're given and uh, be all in and ready. That's that's what, that's what the understanding has to be as we, we head down the stretch. Even though the playoffs are a month away, did this feel like a playoff type setting to you? Uh, yeah, it, it did. You know, you, you had a lot of uh, Detroit uh, uh, fans that uh, came to our fine city and spent their money, which was great. And um, and, and our fans were drowning them out, so I, it's, it's always a good rivalry. It's always great to be on the bench. As I said, I was going out for for a while. I'm probably going to Lane Lambert. I said, so you know, they were going the, the Red Wings. I said, you know, to cover your ears because it'll be pretty loud right away as soon as we step out. So, and then we're in the fans. They're always great for us. Coach, what did you think of the Wings after tonight? Uh, I, thought they had a, I, I thought they were tremendously hard working. They had a lot of grind. They, they worked hard. They had their real strong gap and their back pressure. Um, I, I knew that. That's part of their DNA. You know, uh, you know as I said, you know, we were, we had some chances. We you know, we'd, you know, the chances, the good chances we have, we didn't hit the net. But uh, I thought the effort they had, you know, you got a Datsuk out, you got a Lidstrom, you got, you got uh, Bertuzzi out that are, are pretty big pieces for them. Um, they, you know, they filled in, they moved, you know, they went to sort of, you know, the top nine forwards and, and uh, you know, the 4D and, and they, you know, they played a, a, a short game, but at the same time they played really hard and they played a, a 200 foot game. And, at times, I thought, uh, you know, when we got the lead, we, we, we just sort of just sat back, and, 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 and instead of finishing, trying to finish them off, uh, we just sort of sat back and we just got throwing stuff and creating stuff. And so they, they, they you know, that, that's part of their DNA. That's why they won for a long time. That's no different than when we have a lot of injuries. Guys step up, and we've been a team that everybody goes, you know, just sort of so it looks seamless at times, and, and that's. That's what good organizations and, 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 and deep organizations can do. And I, I, you know, we, we haven't won anything yet. But Detroit's got a, a tradition of, of winning cups and that. And that's, that's why it looks seamless at times when they have people out. You can do it for a, a short period of time. You can do it for a long period of time. That's, that's always the difficult thing. So um, I think that, uh, you know, just as, as they dealt with injuries, it's, it's a part of their whole organizational philosophy. It's just no different than ours. Thanks. Thank you.